Somewhere in a parallel universe, your CS degree just bench pressed a blockchain to impress a recruiter that doesn't exist. Meanwhile, your thousands of dollars in debt, optimizing your resume for the 73rd time, just to get ghosted by a startup run by a 14 year old in a basement. Welcome to the simulation. Let's break the loop. You just dropped $80,000 on a CS degree, sacrificed your social life, mastered data structures, memorized sorting algorithms for fun, and now you are applying for jobs, only to get ghosted harder than a Tinder match from 2017. You are refreshing LinkedIn like it's a stock market ticker. And when you finally do get a callback, it's for an AI prompt intern role that pays less than your rent. Meanwhile, your cousin with zero tech background is already making bank fine-tuning ChatGPT for real estate agents. If this feels like a glitch in the matrix, it's because the rules of the game have changed and nobody told you. Stick around until the end because what you'll learn might just save your career. And hey, drop a comment if you've already felt the sting of rejection post CS degree. We wanna hear your story. The CS degree isn't dead, but it's limping. Not because the knowledge isn't valuable, but because the job market is shifting faster than your curriculum. Universities are still pushing the same material from 2015, while companies are automating everything those lessons prepared you for. Think about it, how many times did you write a sorting algorithm versus how many times ChatGPT just did it better? Now, tens of thousands of grads are being churned out yearly, many with identical resume, identical GitHub portfolios, and zero differentiators. And the kicker? Entry-level roles are disappearing faster than ice cream in July. If you are watching this and wondering, did I just buy a $80,000 golden ticket to nowhere? You are not alone. There's a quiet panic happening behind the polished Instagram posts and LinkedIn humble brags. Recruiters are ghosting. Interviews are being replaced by online assessments powered by AI. Companies like Google and Meta are slicing internships and junior roles, not expanding them. Why? Because AI can do in seconds what a junior dev does in a week. The ladder is broken at the very first step. And for early career devs, it's like showing up to a race where the track has already been deleted. Comment below. What's the weirdest rejection reason you've gotten? We were sold a dream. Study hard, get good grades, nail the interviews, land a job, scale the ladder, retire early. But nobody warned us that the entry level has been quietly redefined by AI tools that don't eat, sleep, or ask for raises. According to Business Insider, the ladder isn't just broken, it's gone. Replaced by a cliff you are supposed to scale with no ropes. Boot camps, degrees, certs, it doesn't matter if your skills don't show immediate real-world ROI. Hiring managers are asking, can you build and ship fast? Not, did you take operating systems too? It's not just about AI taking jobs, it's about what AI has revealed. The illusion was that CS grads were job ready. But what AI is exposing is the real skill gap, communication, product thinking, cross-functional problem solving. The things you won't find in a final exam. A recent Hacker Noon article pointed out many devs can write code, but few can solve real world problems with it. And that's what employers care about. So if you are clinging to your GPA, it's time to shift gears. Say you are in your mid-twenties, you've got a degree, debt, and desperation. You are applying to 100 jobs a week and getting fewer callbacks than your uncle's podcast. You start to doubt yourself. Maybe I'm not cut out for tech, but you are, it's just that the map is wrong. The terrain has changed and no one handed you a GPS. You are not underqualified. You are just playing by obsolete rules. So where do we go from here? Step one. Stop waiting for the old world to come back. It won't. AI isn't a trend, it's a tectonic shift. If you are still optimizing your resume for keywords instead of outcomes, you are behind. The winners aren't those with the best degrees, they are the ones who adapt fast. You don't need to be a genius, you need to be agile. Drop a comment if you've pivoted in your career and how it worked out. Companies are hiring differently now. They want people who can ship, not just code. That means building side projects, contributing to open source and documenting everything. Your portfolio should tell a story. Here's a problem I noticed. Here's how I solved it. Not here's another to-do app one made in React. Recruiters are now scanning GitHub and Substack more than GPAs. 
Think like a product manager because that's what your future team will need. Here's something they don't tell you in college. Technical skills are your entry ticket, but they won't keep you in the room. The moment you enter the real world, it's about impact, speed, and context. Can you make the team faster, more efficient, more aligned? Can you learn in motion, not in isolation? Can you understand a business goal and translate it into code that works, scales, and ships? This is why liberal arts grads with tech curiosity are now outcompeting CS grads with tunnel vision. Wild, right? The weirdest part? We are living in a paradox. There's a shortage of skilled tech talent, and yet thousands of grads can't get jobs. Why? Because companies don't want just coders. They want creators, collaborators, problem solvers. It's not about how many languages you know, it's about how you use them. If your projects don't show business context, user value, or a unique edge, you are invisible. This is your wake-up call. Even big names are shifting. Mira Lane, a former AI exec at Microsoft, just pivoted her entire career to focus on human-centered AI because tech without purpose is noise. Think about that. A top exec is rewiring her career, and yet many CS grads are afraid to switch tracks. But that's where the opportunity lies. Pivoting isn't failure, it's survival. And in this game, survivors are the ones who evolve. Build something weird to stand out. Not perfect, weird. A Chrome extension for dog walkers. A Slack bot for your D&D group. A no-code site that solves one annoying problem you face daily. These are your new credentials. Show don't tell. Comment below. What weird project idea have you always wanted to build but haven't yet? The irony is that the most in-demand roles now are not even about hardcore CS theory. Product managers, developer advocates, AI trainers, technical writers, prompt engineers. These roles need code fluency, not code worship. And they value storytelling as much as syntax. If you are only chasing SWE jobs, you are ignoring 60% of the actual opportunity. So what now? Forget prestige, focus on proof. Build in public, publish your journey, share your failures, let recruiters find you instead of you begging for a shot. The most valuable currency now is attention and the trust you earn through execution. You didn't waste your degree, but if you keep doing what you were taught, you will waste your future. The game has changed, but the opportunities are bigger than ever. Stop applying, start building, stop over-optimizing your resume start maximizing your output. And if this video hit home, drop a comment and tell us what your next move is. Because waiting is no longer a strategy. Found this valuable? Watch our playlists for more practical, expert-level insights on digital transformation and leading your career into the next era of growth. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who needs a clearer strategy. Knowledge is power, and the more people who understand this, the more successful your organization will be. Simplify the tech, amplify the impact. If you've been thinking about trying cloud hosting but don't want to commit up front, Comatter is offering a 30-day free trial that's absolutely worth checking out. You get access to their full cloud VPS platform with $100 in usage credits to test out servers, storage, firewalls, and more. Whether you're running Linux or Windows, deploying a dev environment, or launching a business app, this trial gives you full control with zero risk. Plus, there are no hidden fees or surprise charges. The $100 credit gives you true flexibility to explore. With over two decades in the industry, Comatter delivers proven reliability and performance you can trust. Don't miss out. Use the link in the description to start your free 30-day trial today.